will explain exactly what you need to do inside the Curevate app in order to recover. Here, I've had a knee replacement and Curevate has started me in stage seven. I'm on the home screen and I'm a little bit confused because I see stage seven, eight, and nine, and I don't know where to start. In this case, Curevate has started me on stage seven based on the fact that I had a knee replacement and based on my surgery date. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna press play day one for stage seven. As soon as I do, I'm gonna be presented with the stage seven goals. So I need to read these goals carefully and make sure that this is something that is achievable within the next seven days. The reason it has to be achievable in the next seven days is because each stage inside Curevate has seven days, as you see here. And right now I haven't yet completed any of the days of my recovery in stage seven. Within every single day, there will be a morning, an afternoon, and an evening session of exercise. In some cases, there might only be an afternoon and evening, and in some cases, only evening. The key thing to remember here is that the evening session is always the longest session of exercise in every stage. So in this case, the evening session contains 13 exercises and nine checklist items. So let's distinguish those two things. An exercise is a movement-based activity that you need to do to recover. A checklist is something that you need to acknowledge, for example, that you've taken your prescription medication. Also keep in mind that the morning, afternoon, and evening times of day are suggestions, meaning you don't actually have to complete these exercises in the evening. If you find you have the most time the first thing in the morning, then that's when you should complete your evening exercises. The important thing is that you try to complete all of your exercises on every day. So what do I do every day? When I come into my exercises, I open up the morning session and what I wanna do is I wanna press play all to view all of my exercise videos. You can have a quick glance at an exercise by pressing the I icon and here, you can see a description of the exercise, the number of repetitions and sets, and you can mark it as complete or play the video. In our case, we're going to play all so that we can run through all of the exercises within this particular stage. Here's a preview video of the exercise that I need to do, which is a leg lift, and I'm gonna skip the counter and begin my exercise right away. Now, you can see on the screen that for this exercise, I need to do 15 repetitions and three sets of leg lifts. What's happening is as the video plays and I'm following along at home, the app is actually counting this down for me and tracking all this for me so I don't need to write anything down or keep track of anything. So as long as I do my exercises by simply following along with the video, I'm completing everything I need to do to recover, but I'm also tracking it and I know what is complete and I know what things remain for me to do. There's a few things on this screen that we should review. So first we can just take a quick look at our exercise list and see, okay, I'm on my leg lifts. The next exercise is knee extension and the one after that is knee extension active. I can close that and I can modify some of the video settings on this screen. Probably the most important ones are the time between sets. After one set of leg lifts, how much time do I need between that and the next one? I may find that I need more time, like 12 seconds, or I may find that I need as few as five seconds between one set and the next. I can also change the time between one exercise and the next. So I know this is the leg lift, the next one is a knee extension. If I need a little bit more time or a break between exercises, I can increase that amount of time to 30 seconds or reduce it if I'm finding that I don't really need much of a break between one exercise and the next exercise. Last but not least, there's the playback speed. Now, I wanna emphasize that this is rarely changed. The rate and pace at which you see the exercise video is the ideal rate and pace you should be doing it based on your stage of recovery. 
That's how we've made these videos. However, let's say it's early on in your recovery and you're finding that you need some extra time and you're going slower than the video, you can always slow it down by going to 0.5 times so that you can follow along at an appropriate pace for you. Now, it will be quite rare that you actually need to speed up the video. In this case, 1.5 times faster than what it is right now. That is rare, and if you do choose to speed it up, please be safe and careful and make sure that it is appropriate for you. For most people, it is going to be the case that normal speed is ideal. On this page, you can also have the audio instructions read out to you for this particular exercise by pressing the little audio button at the bottom. And once the last repetition of this exercise is complete, You'll see that Curvate just Four, automatically moves three, on two, one, to the next start. set of the same exercise, as you see here. Now, I can skip ahead if I need to to the next exercise, which are knee extensions, and I can skip the counter at the beginning if I choose. And this exercise, I'm hanging out with my legs straight over a towel for five minutes. If I X out of this screen, I have the option of selecting that yes, I have completed this exercise and Curavate will mark that as complete for me. The way you progress from day to day is I will come to my morning session, I will mark everything as complete with this button and it will move me on to the afternoon. I will complete all of my afternoon exercises and checklists, press mark as complete. Again, Curavate automatically moves me on to the next session of the day which is the evening. And now once I've completed all of these exercises, I mark as complete again. Once I've done that for the entire day, Curvate's gonna reward me with a badge for my day of completed exercises. And it's gonna ask me if I wanna move on to my next day. So once I hit yes, move on to the next day, you can see that Curvate has automatically moved me on to day two. So now I've completed day one, stage seven, and I've been moved to day two where I can start my morning routine of exercises. The other important things to remember on these screens is that you also have a list of all of the equipment that you may need for this particular session of exercise. So there's simple things like a towel roll or a chair, which are easily accessible, and sometimes things that may not be such as a stationary bike. So in this case, if you have access to it or can get access to it, it's ideal. If not, you'll have to skip the biking exercise. Also, you'll see here at the top the estimated time for the evening session of exercise, which is in one hour and 30 minutes. And that's more time than I have today. So you have the option of selecting not enough time. When I press that, Curvate's gonna prioritize the most important exercises and check off the ones that I'm not responsible for today. Once that happens, you can see my time is reduced from one hour and 30 minutes to 24 minutes. And now this is much more manageable for me. Now, how do we move from one stage to the next? Well, let's fast forward this a little bit and say that we've completed the morning, the afternoon, and evening session for all of the days within stage seven. Every time we complete a day, we get a badge and we're automatically moved on to the next day. So you're seeing here is that Curvate is automatically tracking all of your progress but it's also moving you on from one day to the next as you acknowledge you've done the exercises and you're ready for another day of exercises. As I mentioned before, every single stage has seven days. So we will progress through every single day of our recovery until we get to the last stage within this stage, which is day seven. So here we are now on the very last day of stage seven day seven, stage seven. So you can see I've completed days one through six, and this is my last day. So once I've completed the last day of exercises by marking as complete morning, afternoon, and evening, you will see a pop-up like this that basically says, have you actually completed all of stage seven and have you achieved these very important goals within stage seven? If I say that I have achieved these goals, I can simply press yes, load next, next stages, and Curvate will move me back to the home screen to show me I've got 100% adherence or achievement 
on stage seven and I'm now moved into stage eight. So the next thing I need to do now is press play day one for stage eight and I will once again be presented with the stage eight goals. Can I do this in seven days? If the answer is yes, press got it and I can now begin on stage eight, day one of my recovery. Now, what else do I need to do inside the app? It's a good idea to select the profile at the bottom right and also take a look at your achievements. So if you go to the achievements page here, you will see that this is tracking everything that I've done so far. I can see my badges at the top. I can see my number of days of exercise. And very important, I see a graph that shows my adherence. What does this mean? The adherence means how consistently are you doing the exercises within the app? And in this case, since I'm averaging 96%, I'm doing really well. I've only had one day where I had a struggle and I was at 41%. But on most days, I'm achieving all of the adherence that I need to in order for me to recover. So this graph will keep a tally of all of your exercise adherence. If you scroll down, here you'll see the range of motion and you can see this is completely blank right now, but this is where you'll see graphs for your knee or hip bending and straightening. In order to measure that, you again go to profile and select measure knee. In order to learn how to measure your knee, we have a separate video both on our blog and in our app that shows you exactly how to measure your knee and hip range of motion. If I have questions as I'm recovering, I can simply press on chat and I can ask a licensed physical therapist a question. In this case, I wanna know about knee pain after leg lifts. What can I do? So I'm gonna ask this question and I'm gonna get a response from a licensed physical therapist in terms of what I should do about my pain. If I want to know a bit more about my recovery, I can then also go to the blogs and webinars that are available inside Curavate. You can see that there's some videos that show you how to do things inside the app. And then there are a whole bunch of other blogs that relate to injury and surgery recovery. Now, I've had a knee replacement and I have a very specific question. So I'm gonna press the search bar at the top and I want to know specifically about knee replacements and long-term recovery. And here, there's a great blog that tells me all about what I can expect in the first year, five years, 10 years, 15 years, and 20 years after my knee replacement. So this is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'll take a read through this and it's gonna help me understand my recovery in the long term better. Also, I can check out the webinars and see if there's anything appropriate for what I want to learn about. And there's a blog, there's a webinar right here that says, what is the recovery timeline for a total knee replacement? So I can watch that and learn a bit more about my current recovery. If I find that I still need more support, I can always select Video PT. And by going to the very bottom of this page, I can purchase individual video PT sessions for a one-on-one -on -one consultation with a licensed physical therapist. If I go back to my profile page, you can see that currently I'm on a monthly subscription. And if I find that I still need more one-on-one -on -one support besides what the app can provide me through chat and through the exercise videos, I can open up my monthly subscription, I can choose to change my subscription, and then I can select a subscription where I have additional support through individualized one-on-one -on -one video PT sessions. And you can see each level of subscription has a higher number of one-on-one -on -one sessions. So I will choose the one that's the most appropriate for me. As I said before, if there are any questions as you are recovering and as you're working through what you need to do day to day, simply use the in-app chat. But when you arrive in the Curavate app, it will look like this. And in most cases, all you need to do to recover is simply press play day one. And then once you do that, press play all and complete your exercises 
in order to optimize your recovery.